is Glenn Rudolph from Reindeer Music, and I welcome you to this uh, introduction to the Pittsburgh Modular Cell 48 System 1. The Cell 48 System 1 consists of four modules, the synthesizer block, the MIDI 2 module, the M3 module, and the OUTS module. The oscillator block and the MIDI 2 and the OUTS modules are connected internally to create a complete monophonic synthesizer without the need of adding any patch cables. Uh, this internal patching is shown on this block diagram. And the block diagram breaks apart the synthesizer block into its component parts so that we can more easily display the internal routing of the system. Green arrows denote audio signals, Orange arrows denote control voltages, and blue arrows denote a gate signal. Patch points are shown as circles. Output patch points are indicated by a black filled-in circle, and input patch points are indicated by an open or a white circle. The audio signal on the System 1 is routed first from the waveform mixer output to the voltage-controlled filter input from the VCF output to the voltage controlled amplifier input and from the VCA output to the OUTS module's left input jack. Within the OUTS module itself, the left input is normal to the right input so that any signal appearing at the left input is normally routed to the right input jack as well. MIDI note messages are converted to control voltages and gate signals by the MIDI 2 module. The resulting control voltage is routed from the CV1 output to the 1 volt per octave input of the oscillator, and the MIDI 2 gate 1 output is routed to the envelope generator input. The LFO triangle wave output is routed to both the frequency modulation CV input and the pulse width modulation CV input of the oscillator. The envelope generator output is routed to both the filter cutoff CV input and the VCA CV input. Now there's an important distinction in connectivity behavior between the two types of jacks. Patching into an output jack multiples the output of that jack. That is, it will not break a default internal system connection. So for instance, patching a patch cable into the LFO triangle output does not disrupt the normal routing of the LFO triangle wave to the FMCV or the pulse width CV inputs of the oscillator. Patching into an input jack, however, will break an internal system connection so that patching into the FMCV or the pulse width CV input jacks of the oscillator, for instance, will break the system's default internal routing of those points. Similarly, patching into the right input jack of the OUTS module will break the normal connection between the left and the right input jacks. Please note, this is not always the case with all Pittsburgh Modular synthesizer modules. With the Pittsburgh Modular Mixer module, for instance, patching into output jacks 1, 2, or 3 of the mixer module will not multiple that output, but instead removes the signal at that point from the mix output of the module. Always refer to documentation available on the Pittsburgh Modular website for clarification if you have any doubts or if a patch is not behaving as you expect it to. The connectivity behavior of these two types of jacks can maybe more clearly be demonstrated with the following patch. Under normal system routing, the VCF's cutoff frequency is controlled by the envelope generator output so that the filter cutoff follows the, the shape of the envelope as does the voltage controlled amplifier. The LFO triangle wave influences the oscillator's frequency and the pulse width modulation. I have set up on the system one right now a simple uh, plucked bass sound. On this patch, under normal system routing, the triangle wave of the LFO is controlling the frequency modulation of the oscillator. As well as 
as the pulse width of the square wave. While the shape of the envelope controls the cutoff frequency of the filter, Note that the control of the cutoff CV input is an attenuverter, not an attenuator. So when the control is at the 12 o'clock position, any incoming control voltages have no influence over the cutoff frequency. Turning the control clockwise increases the influence of the control voltage coming in. Turning the control counterclockwise inverts the incoming control voltage and the further you turn it counterclockwise, the more influence that inverted control voltage has over the behavior of the cutoff frequency. Now suppose to this patch, besides the envelope, the shape of the envelope controlling the behavior of the cutoff frequency of the filter, I also wanted to have the triangle wave of the LFO control the cutoff frequency. I could first patch the triangle wave output and notice since I'm plugging into an output jack I haven't broken any internal connections. The triangle wave still influences the frequency modulation of the oscillator. But note what happens when I take the output of the triangle wave and plug it into the cutoff CV input jack of the filter. The triangle wave is modulating the cutoff frequency of the filter, but we have lost the effect of the shape of the envelope. In order to combine the two of those together so that they both can control the cutoff frequency, we need to use the M3 module. So instead, I will plug patch the triangle wave output of the LFO into an input jack on the M3 module. I will take the output of the envelope generator, plug it into another input jack on the mix one section of the M3 module and take that mixture of control voltages and then send it to the input jack for the cutoff frequency of the filter. Now we have both the triangle wave and the shape of the envelope controlling the behavior of the cutoff frequency of the filter. Thanks for watching. I hope this brief video was helpful. If you have any more questions, please visit the Pittsburgh Modular website at pittsburghmodular.com.